Hey guys, welcome back to Nico Brothers. So for today, we actually have a new build. Hopefully it's a potential build. Honestly, we got a lead from a buddy, from a friend that said, hey, I got this RV in my backyard sitting for a while. Do you guys want it? So we're kind of taking a gamble here. We have no idea. We got like one picture of it and a price. We'll let you know the price at the end, so stay tuned to see what we got. We're getting ready right now. We're gonna take the tow behind car, basically our shop car, fill it up with tools, take what we need. We know this RV has been sitting for a couple years now but we think it's an awesome opportunity, a great deal. It's definitely a gamble, but it's gonna be worth the road trip. It's in New York, so it's about, I don't know, a thousand miles or something for us. About 680. 680, okay, 680. It's Friday night right now. We're all kind of tired after work, but hey, this is an opportunity. You gotta go for it. We're gonna jump on top of it, get this car ready, hit the road tonight, just drive all the way out there. Hopefully tomorrow morning we'll be there, check it out and drive it home. I mean, that's the game plan, but we have no idea what condition this is, like I said, so it's gonna be an opportunity chance to make some money or find a great deal, basically a barn find. But let's check out the car, check out the tools that we have, see what we're dealing with. All right, so we got basically our rags, you know things about to get dirty, it's about to get real. Jump box for some power, maybe some diesel, we'll see, we got a canister, bunch of tools with this, we got a pro bar, we got a airline, because I think they come with an air compressor inside, just in case we hook it up, get some tools going on, we don't know. What we're gonna find. We'll also fill up the tires or anything if we can't make it yeah. to the gas station. And yeah, I mean, we're just gonna grab a lot of tools. Yeah, just in case things are rusty, we'll get it loose, no problem. I mean, honestly, we don't know what to expect. It's kind of exciting, kind of nervous, but you know, we're just gonna go go at it and see what we can find. Hopefully, it turns out great. We, we don't know. We're, hopefully, we can drive it back. That's the plan, but let's see what happens. guys here we go we finally made it it was a long night drove all night but we're here and check it out here it is this thing is massive i mean for sure it's a whole lot of something going on like a barn find without the barn but it's there i mean honestly it looks really nice definitely dirty it's probably been sitting here for a long time but let's go around it check it out our main thing is to get this thing started so definitely got it like i said working the batteries maybe hook up a car to it get jumper cables but wow it's huge and doesn't look that bad.
Alright guys, so we're here in the back. Um, we're getting power to the engine, but unfortunately it doesn't feel like it's enough power. So even with our jump box, it's still not enough to spin over the engine fast enough to start it. So we're going to have to take the old batteries out, go to the Advance or AutoZone and uh, try to get them charged up. Maybe buy another one and uh, go from there. So let's hit the store. What are you doing? <laughs> Alright guys, so we just got back from the AutoZone and we actually had to buy a new battery. One was bad and one they said would charge up and was good to go. So we're going to put this one back and then we're going to use this one as one to try to start the engine. Give it a little bit more power and let's try it out. Alright guys, so there we go. We got both the fuel filters replaced. One's for like the water, one's for straight the diesel. So. I don't know. Either way, we're let's see it, Michael. Let's yeah. see how much pain in the butt that was. Oh man, this thing was like one was really easy, and one was welded on there. That was a nightmare. Went back and forth to advance like maybe four times, trying to get different filters, handle things, broke a couple, trying to get pipes, extensions. We tried even stabbing it and twisting oh, we it. We did. Let's see it. There's the old one. Look at that. <laughs> you can see the bullet wound. I'm just kidding. That's where we punched the hole, just trying to get it off. I mean, we've been here since like 9 a.m. It's already 3 p.m. Just trying to get this thing started, but hopefully now we got good batteries, good filters, good diesel. I mean, the filters did look bad. Look yeah. inside. It looked a little more yellow. Who knows if the diesel was aging. I would probably pour some out, but I mean, they definitely, they look original. So it yeah. definitely needed to be done. So let's try to start it. Let's start it. All right, all right. We got a jumper cables. We got new batteries. We got jump box. Let's see what happens, Ivan. All right. I'm going to go start it. Alright, alright, here we go. Nothing. I got nothing. Okay, so I'm getting nothing. It's not even spinning over. Let's check our wiring, make sure we get enough power. I'm not getting power, I'm trying to figure out why not. Try it now? Yeah, try it now. See if I have power. Put power here, so we'll put on this. Power's over here, but still not starting. Yes, okay, we're spinning over. But let's get more power. Okay, here we got 12 point 13 volts. Spray, you did. Nothing yet. A little bit of starting fluid, a little bit of power. Okay, don't I? Oh, don't I try it? So now we're inside, checking out the filters. Alright, 
here we go again some new fresh diesel hopefully this will help okay, new fuel filters new batteries new fuel we don't fuel. know if the gauge is lying it says it's had to have a tank but it's taking it all right guys we're still going at it it's basically 5 p.m but still nothing we're getting to spin pretty good we think the fuel is just not getting there so we're trying to get all the air out of the system we got some more diesel putting it in there but still nothing hanging on not giving up yet keep going trying to crank it take 152. let's do it All right, try it. So we went ahead and changed the oil on it. We got both the fuel filters changed, new batteries, jump box, new jump box. I mean, we've been trying anything and everything on this thing just to get it going. It's like kind of teasing you. It's spinning over and it sputters and it almost starts and then it doesn't. I mean, we've been trying everything for I don't know how long now, but honestly, we got to call it a night. It's a very humbling feeling because, <laughs> you know, we took on some pretty big challenges. We were able to get through it, but this one kind of kicked our butt. It was a little harder than I thought. We thought it would just at least start and then we'll start facing all the other issues. But if we can't even get it to start, then we don't even know what's down the road. So we can't drive it back home since we can't get it to start. But we have to fi figure out what to do with it. Either get it towed, if we still want it, what we're going to do with it, I don't know. It's still a really nice camper. Awesome RV. I really like it. But it kicked our butt this time and we're just going to have to call it a night. So let's start heading home. Let's go home. All right, guys, so we made it back to the shop. What an adventure. I mean, it definitely was a long weekend. We left Friday night, like at 9 p.m., and we got home at Sunday at 9 a.m. Wow, yeah, definitely definitely a lot of time spent on it, but I think it was still worth it. We still want to pick it up, but what do you guys think of a good price for it? We may have to rebuild the engine. We may have to put a new engine in. Honestly, what do you think the problem is that we couldn't get it started? We love reading your guys' comments, all your feedback on it. We really appreciate it. It actually helps us make a lot of decisions so please let us know what you think was going on why we didn't actually want to crank over but I feel at the end of the day this is probably the safest way because even if we did get it started there's probably so many more issues that could have popped up transmission wheel bearings I mean tie rod anything you know driving back for so long it's not like a down the road issue so I'm kind of happy worst case we want to come back there and get a towed or should we just forget about it altogether let us know what you guys think about it overall I think it was in good condition it was still pretty clean inside so it's not too bad, but hey, we're back home. That's all that matters. And behind me, I have my burnt one that we fixed. You guys remember that. If you don't, check out the link. We basically got the burnt one. We completely refurbished it, got it cleaned up. But since we got this thing all nice and pretty, I actually want to replace my lock on it. So let me show you what we got. So this is a keyless entry RV lock. We found these guys on Amazon. Honestly, they're everywhere. So this thing's pretty sweet. It's got a remote on it. So all my nice refurbished RV, I'm going to go ahead and lock it up properly. So I'll get some nice keys in on it. So new keys it's got a keypad so even if you lose your keys or something's going on you can still type in the code get in or it's wireless remote so i'm gonna go ahead and get this installed let's check that out real quick And just like that, got it installed literally under three minutes, I would say. It wasn't bad at all. Man, that thing is fancy. Look at that. So, lock, unlock. Nice. Look at that. That's, that's awesome. Sweet. So cool. Definitely nice to have a little keychain. Unlock, lock, RV. Oof. Awesome, gotta unlock it, my bad. Like I said, it's got the keypad right there. Pretty sweet, I'm definitely gonna put them on all my RVs. Nice. All right, all right, just like that, installed. Really cool, honestly, I really like it. Pretty neat. 
But that's all the time we have for today, guys. Thanks for staying tuned. Like I said, it's not over with that other one that we went to check out. I really want to get it. Maybe I have to come back, tow it back, or something like that. But like I said, leave some comments below, your thoughts on it, approval, disapproval. It's all good, you know, that's part of it. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time.